Richard here, and welcome to the Nerd Life. Time for a What's in the Box? I keep it down. I see dead people. So we're going to go table down in a minute, and I'm going to show you what was in the box. I'm being quiet because I want to startle the dead people. <sighs> That's very scary. <sighs> Anyway, technically, this has already been unpacked from the box, so I'm just going to show you what was in the box, not what's in the box. It's what was in the box. So, let's go table down and check her out. Here we go, table down. Um, no, it was not the Great Cthulhu, but that is the Great Cthulhu. Ooh, Cthulhu, 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 Cthulhu. Wow. Um, where to start on this awesomeness that I have over here? Let's see if I can... Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to show it to you yet. I want to show it to you in a specific order. So I got this for me because I liked it and I wanted it. And plus I'm also going to be carrying it in my store. Um, the Nerd Life games portion. Because we have the Nerd Life it is a multi-part business adventure. Um, it's currently right now in its stages of the Nerd Life apparel. So that's my clothing portion of it. Um, but then we're also going to have the Nerd Life Games. Um, and there will actually be two branches of that later on. My cousin is a game designer. He does video games and things like that. And plus he does board games. He's made them forever. Um, he's got stuff he's dealing with right now. Once things kind of clear up a little bit more, that aspect of it will be uh, more put into fruition maybe. Um, and then I also have the Nerd Life Commissions, which is my painting and my building commissions, which is a lot of that stuff you'll, you'll see in the future. I'm getting a, right now a building commissions going where I'll be building resin kits for people and then they'll paint them off themselves. Um, so anyway, in the meantime, this is a game. It's not Games Workshop, not 40K, anything like that. Um, it's one that I've Ever since I heard about it, I really, really wanted it. And most of you know that I said I wanted to jump on the Kickstarter last year when it started, but I missed out on it. You kind of might have gave it away right there. Um, but this is an awesome comic book that I love. Um, and a TV series that I like. And now it's a tabletop board game war game that I like. That's right. It is The Walking Dead's All Out War. And there it is. I showed you before, I have the... Oh, it's not even over here. Well, that's wondrous. Or is it? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Prelude to Woodbury. So, I already had that. So, that's one I showed you that I got in that free box. Um, well, now I have more stuff for it. So, we have here, we have the main core game. And, uh... Here's all the fun, lovely stuff it comes with. I'm not going to be doing an unboxing right now or anything like that. I'm just kind of showing it off. You get six survivors, Rick, Carl, Derek, Patrick, Liam, Sandra, and then 12 walkers, one rule book, one quick start guide, one RV token. What is that? One RV. Oh, there was the picture of the RV. RV should be flipping huge, man. You can actually get the MDF version of the RV if it's in stock. It's been out of stock for a while. Um... RV, four cars, six barricades, nine supply counters, one threat tracker, one kill zone, one range ruler, initiative counter, ten activation counters, ten health counters, six survivor cards, one walker reference card, fifteen events cards, sixteen supply cards, eight equipment cards, six red dice, two white dice, one blue dice, one black action dice, one yellow panic dice. <gasps> I'm panicking. So uh, here's just kind of going to show you uh, some of these figures painted up. I don't think, like, these guys aren't in there. There's Rick and Carl, which I'm really happy to see in this box set. Here's a bunch of walkers. And then here is just another scene of all the cool stuff that you can do with it. TT Combat, which is another company that I'm going to be carrying their stuff from, does a lot of cool modern era buildings uh, from city terrain to urban area terrain. 
I think they even have a barn yard, uh, a barn coming out soon. Um, so yeah, so I'll be I'll be able to carry that and get that, and that'll be, those will be great for things like this. So here's the figures, the figures. Oh yeah, I guess they do come with this guy, whoever this guy is. There's a Walker. There's a uh, Rick. Another Walker and Carl. Who all came in this set? Carl, Derek, Patrick, Liam, and Sandra. So yeah, it's all these got walk got people right here. So you got Carl, Rick, whoever Derek is, whoever Patrick is, whoever Liam is, and then Sandra. I'm assuming that Sandra is probably me being dumb. Gender assuming there, Richard. Stop it. Oh, sorry. Pause there for a minute. Um, yeah, so I just, yeah, I really wish I had got on this on in, in the long run, the original run, and I get all the stuff, but I still, with this score, I did pretty good. So we're going to go into the next little, little piece of this that I got is the scenery kit. So in the scenery kit, you get two busted cars, two trucks, two sets of these barricades, and then two sets of these supply counters. Essentially what you're getting is the cardboard set. Oh, it says it right here. This pack contains 3D plastic scenery to replace the cardboard cars, barricades, and supply counters from the core set and add an extra level of realism to the game. Um, I, I think that's so cool. That's, that brings it up, that boosts it up that little bit, that extra notch. Kind of gets you really immersed in the game and kind of enjoy it. Uh, these prices are where I got them from. I didn't pay these for them, though. Okay. Just so you know. Where is that? Okay. So, yeah. So, you got two cars, two trucks, your supply counters, and your barricades. Like I said, that's all to replace the cars and trucks in here, the barricades, and then the supply tokens. So, you can bring, like I, like I said, bring that more re that realistic feel to your game. Let's move this on over here. Next, we have... I'm going to go ahead and get into this because it's one of the bigger things that I have. Is the mat. Now, I have not opened this yet. The box got a little crunched. But it's the game mat. And it is a 20 by 20 slip-resistant neoprene game mat. So it looks like it's a really sturdy... Oh, yeah. This is mouse pad material right here, buddy. We'll go ahead and bust this one open on camera. Shall we? Oh, that's nice. I have yet to mess around with any of these. Look at that. What is that? It's all squished up in here. It's a Mantic Point. So, there we go. You essentially have like a little city, a street. Okay. Oh, that is really cool. That is really nice. So imagine like getting some buildings, put them in here. It's like a parking lot, corner over there, other stuff. You can put some buildings on the street to kind of make it take over. You know, turn this into more grass or something. Um, but yeah, no, this is this is awesome. I wonder if they're gonna do more. That would be really cool. Starting, I guess this is your normal playing size area. It's nothing too fancy, nothing too big. Um, I will be doing. I guess I will be doing a gameplay demo at some point with this. Um, like I do have the All Out War Prelude to Woodbury. It's a solo starter set, so I can literally bust that open and just play. I just need to paint the figures, which is something I'm trying to get back into doing lately because I've not painted anything in quite a while. Which really makes Daddy a sad man. Oh, let's drop the camera on the floor. Okay, next we have individual boosters. So, again, I, like I said, I'll be carrying these in my store. Um, some of these I can get. Some of them I can't because they were limited run exclusives or whatever. Um, I tried to order a couple of the Negan things, the Eeny, Meeny, 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 Mo, and they were sold out. Um, a couple of other things were sold out. I can't remember what they were. I think a lot of it was because the, the big... Uh, UK Expo game expo was coming up, so they're probably taking a bunch of their stuff with them, so they didn't have enough to supply out. Uh, but let's start here. Let's start with Lori. 
So what Lori comes with, here's Lori, and she comes with Craig and a walker. And three equipment cards, four, three character cards, four equipment cards, and one Mantic point. I don't know what the Mantic points are yet. I haven't looked any of those up. Uh, here we have Morgan. Everybody loves Morgan. I like him. I like who he comes with, too. He comes with his son, Dwayne, before he turns zombie. And then uh, this walker here is their wife, is or his wife, and Dwayne's mama. Oh, they come with a stupid sticker over everything it comes with. I'm sure it's going to come with similar stuff to the other one, the character cards, the so on and so forth. Um, then we have the Rick on horse. Oh, that'd be a fun one to paint. And it comes with Rick and a walker. That's a pretty cool walker. I like the face. Look at Rick's face. He's like, Yahoo! And you got that walker face like, Hey, come back here, dinner. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, characters, equipment cards. Adding Rick on horseback to the game requires the Walking Dead all at War Miniature Four Set. Yeah, most of the stuff, like I said, it's booster packs. Imagine buying a card game and you're getting booster packs for it. You have to have the main game to play. You're not going to be able to bust a booster pack out and play. You could. Who knows? Um, here's Shane. We have Shane. Shane comes with him. He comes with Reggie. Oh, I remember old Reggie. Good old Reggie. And then a walker. Another walker. I'm kind of curious to see if there are any duplicate walkers in any of these sets. Or if they're actually individual walkers. That would be pretty cool. Um, again, probably comes with the same thing. The cards and Reggie cards and all that stuff. Let me put the sticker over where I can't see again. Oh, here we go. This one didn't. Here's Andrea. Andrea's cool because I like because she comes with Amy, her sister, which is rad, and another walker. Oh, his guts are hanging out. That little poor little guy. Poor little guts. So we got Andrea, Amy, Walker, two character cards, four equipment cards, one manic point. Yeah, they pretty much all come with the same thing. Here we have Carol, and we also know who Carol's gonna come with. She comes with sweet Sophia. Really oh, I have a daughter named Sophia, so that this whole part of the the TV series and the comic book really made me sad. Um, it comes with Carol, Sophia, Walker, three cards, four equipment, semantic point. Yeah, it comes the same thing. There's a Walker, another Walker. Look at that one. Uh, I'm a long haired hippie freak. And then finally, I have the Walker booster. So I wonder what's in this. Walkers for days. You get six Walkers. You get. I'm so mad because my hair done fallen out. Uh, cheeseburger. Ah, staying alive. Has anybody seen my arm? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, hookers at the point. Um, six walkers, four event cards, four equipment cards, and one magic point. So, yep. That's what we got. And then here was, of course, my original set, the solo starter set with all that good stuff in there. So, this stuff's going to be really cool. Um, I ordered light in the beginning. Um, so whenever it comes in, waiting for it to come in. Uh, I will have two of these up for grabs. Um, sorry, only to the States, the United States, because honestly, that's UK people. Check out War Games. You can grab it over there. Um, it'll be shipping for you is easier. Um, states, anybody over here in the States, feel free to holler at me. I've got some of this stuff coming in. It'll be handy here soon. And yeah, not this, but this. I know I'll have the core set. I'll have some boosters. Uh, I think I mainly have the boosters right now for the dice, the dice boosters coming in, which just gives you more dice to play. And I can't remember what else right now. But yeah, so that's it. I'm looking forward to this game. I really want to learn more about it. Um, paint it up and stuff. We'll see what happens. Um, but I am a business now. So some toys just have to go right through the door. Goodbye, games. We love you. Anyway, guys, I love you and I thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, be careful out there. Remember, shoot head, stay dead. That's that's the kicker. That's what you got to do. If you're shooting the chest, you're just wasting bullets. Yeah. Oh, and be quiet. Be very quiet. Scare them. You want to draw them to your area. Anyway, guys, I love you. I thank you for joining me so much. Keep rocking that nerd life, my friends. I'll see you next time.